Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to the new Smart Content Manager that comes with Character Creator 4. With this new and improved content management system, you can browse, manage, and download your content all in the same place, as well as aggregate assets used amongst multiple users in a project so all can access them from their own workstations. There are a number of free assets that you can download via the Content Manager as well. When you first boot up CC4, you'll be prompted to hit Start to open up the Content Manager. From there, the Content Manager will sync to your account. You'll also encounter a pop-up that prompts you to download the Free Essentials Character Pack. If you download, it will immediately begin installing the included character and motion packs. Notice that we are in the Pack tab as well, meaning that all of the items will be organized into packs. You can see the packs downloading, and when they're done you'll also be able to find them in the Recent Downloads folder as well as the free resource. You can see that there are a ton of free assets that come with these free packs, ranging from complete avatars to custom morphs, teeth, eyes, and facial profiles. The Show Subfolder Items option is on by default, which will show the items in the main folder, but not the subfolder structure that separates them by type. The subfolders in your main pack folder won't show up if you have that option selected. If you have it selected, it will just show all the items in your pack folder in the same main folder despite having different file categories. If you switch to the Item tab, then you can view content by item instead of by pack. If your thumbnail is grayed out and you see a little green cloud icon in the top right, it means you own the content but you haven't downloaded it yet. Please be aware that if you download content, it will automatically switch back to pack view regardless. In Item View, you can navigate through all of the different content folders and see the individual assets regardless of format. The Item View is generally used when you want to create your own categories and folders to arrange things in your own way. You'll notice that the category icons at the top each correspond with a main folder in your content list to the left. You'll find everything you need to customize your character, from skin and makeup templates to clothing and stage lighting setups to enhance the appearance of your character model. Let's proceed to apply a character to our scene from the Clothed Avatar subfolder. With CC4, you can now apply motions to your character in order to preview them in the animation player. So I'm going to go to the Motion Plus subfolder and give that a try. This can be used to check rig behavior and easily detect any potential mesh issues. In the Content Manager, you also have the option to sort your content via a number of different parameters and types. You can also apply a number of simple search filters as well. If you're just getting started out, you'll find that a lot of the content in your Content Manager will be grayed out as it has yet to be installed. Character Creator 4 comes with a whole ton of default free content to get you started as you can see when I browse a few of these folders. There are dozens of clothing and hair assets and a whole lot more that you can explore on your own time. Let's download this CC project file by double clicking. As you may recall, even though we're double clicking on the single CC project item, it will revert back to pack mode since it's part of a pack and you'll see the whole CC4 project pack begin to download. We recommend downloading all of the free resource pack content for future use. You can also multi-select items and then right click and select install content to install them all at once and everything will queue up. Let's test out some of the Lightroom lighting presets next. Once we apply one, you can see that the scene will immediately present a more professional feel. Lightroom presets are essential to increasing the visual quality, thereby taking your character's appearance to the next level. Each preset has been carefully crafted to not only optimize character appearance, but also to evoke a specific mood or atmosphere that you may want to utilize in future projects, both in iClone and other CG software or game engines. The animation player in CC4 is also softcloth physics enabled, meaning that you can test out the physics results of your clothing before exporting it back to iClone. You can see when I load up this project and play back that we get a nice looking softcloth physics result on the dress. If you want to save your content, the best way to do so is to ensure that you are in the correct content category that you want to save to. In this case, we're going to save the entire CC project, then go down and hit save. A window will pop up confirming the file name and asset type, again in this case we're saving the entire CC project. Keep in mind that the thumbnail will reflect the current perspective of your camera. 
We can repeat the process, only this time selecting the character subcategory and saving. This time it will save as a character file instead. Same thing goes for clothing. I can select this blouse and save it in the shirt subcategory, but in this case I may want to focus the camera a bit more on the item I'm saving. I can zoom in a bit, and then right click on my saved item and select Capture Thumbnail to get a more accurate result. I can repeat the same process with the skirt as well, and then when I'm done that, deselect Show Subfolder Items to get an overall look at all of the custom content that I've just saved so far. In iClone 8 there are a ton of demo projects you can check out that demonstrate a lot of the new features in the latest version. Let's test out a couple before we end off here. The volumetric lighting and lens flare project is particularly cool as it shows off two of the new iClone 8 features in combination. You can see the enhanced visual quality in this project as a result. The free control project gives you a taste of the incredibly useful and easy to use motion director tool. Just follow the simple instructions to enter into Motion Director and have a little fun. There are a bunch of Motion Director tutorials that you can check out to learn more about this tool. There are various other projects that you can test out and deconstruct to learn more about iClone 8's new and improved features, and we'll also be releasing tons more tutorials in the near future that go into a lot more depth. That's it for this video though, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.